Hello, welcome to Dema Blazer YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, what you should do after fiber cable broken of your fiber laser source and what you should do to protect your fiber cable. Recently, a lot of customers sent us inquiries that their fiber cable of the fiber laser source has broken, uh, like this one. This is the cable cobh connector of the fiber cable and either they burn the protective cap or they burn the crystal or uh, uh, they burn the whole QBH connector so what you can do if your QBH connector burn like this what you have to change and fiber cable is not a plug and unplug it looks like this in the other side of your fiber is the connector like this so you cannot change by yourself. You need professional engineers and tools to do the change. We can sell. Uh, you have two solutions if your fiber cable burn like this. First, you ask your machine supplier uh, what they can do. Uh, very probably, they, they cannot repair locally according to uh, what we know. So they have to send back the laser to China, to Max or Regus and they need to change this uh, cable for you in their factory and then send back to you. So it's very time consuming and it's also very costly by shipping. And you can buy the cable from us for all kinds of lasers, Regus, Max, IPG, and Knight and all brands. But you cannot plug by yourself because you need to splice in this by a, a special splicing machine. But you can, uh, we, we have many uh, cooperative uh, labs in many countries like uh, Vietnam, Turkey, and uh, uh, Brazil, and many other countries who are setting up, like uh, Russia. We have many uh, partners that they bought the tools from us, so they might can offer the help for you if you want to repair the laser as soon as possible. Uh, so. The first solution, you go back to the supplier. If they cannot give you a fast response, uh, you can come the second solution, contact with us. We can sell you the new fiber and uh, we, can, my, we can introduce engineer who can do this connection job for you. Or if you are an engineer, you want to set up this service lab, uh, you can uh, contact with us. Uh, for uh, for Rekus, uh, or IPG QBH, they have numbers right in here. So you have to make the picture of this. We can define uh, because different fiber cable have different specifications. Some are 50 microns uh, core diameter, some are 100 uh, microns core diameter. But for max, because they don't write here. So for max laser, you need to give us the laser, the label of the laser source then we will check with Max factory and then we will, we will make sure what's the size of the fiber. So, so that to, to, to quote you the, the price of the right fiber, which is the one that you can use on your laser source. Okay, so this is uh, what you should do after your fiber cable, the QBH burned or destroyed. The part two, if you have changed a new fiber to your fiberless source, what you need to know to protect it, to protect it from the destroy again. When you connect this fiber to the cutting head, you need the professional engineers to, uh, to do it. You need to take off the cutting head, not to plug on the machine. And this is uh, the reasons for these kind of things to burn is that the, the dust came in. The optics become heating up and so they will, when the laser power shoot on the dust, it will burn. So first you need to uh, clean, to do it in a clean environment, better to do it in a clean bench like this. If you don't have this, you need to guarantee that the environment is very clean without dust. And then you take off the cutting head in a horizontal position and you need to make sure to clean Mm, the, the surface of the protective cap with the swap and then to make it very clean to plug it according to the procedure like this and then after you plug it and you put it back on the machine you need to seal 
the the you need to seal this with the tape, like this very common tape. It's very cheap, but you need to have a good habit. Just to this is connected to the cutting head, so you need to seal around to make the same completely uh, closed. And also on the cutting head, focus lens, cutting lens, and protective windows. All the all the things you need to to tape it. And then for the second reason, it might burn. This is the cooling water because for this kind of laser, when it's working, you need to run in the, the chiller. And the cooling water need to be very clean without particles or dust because sometimes the water connected with the fiber. So, and uh, you need to guarantee that water is, uh, you need to change the water after, after like three months or six months if, uh, to see if it's dust or, or something's generated. So to make it clean. So to have better cooling for the laser source for the fiber. The third, when you're cutting high reflection material like any medium, when the operator will see the reflection from the sheets. So this is the very common reason that burn this part. Because when you cut high reflection materials, the laser will, you know, when you are piercing or not cutting through, a lot of laser come back to the cutting head, then to the beam pass, because this is a Say the, 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 the complete beam pass, then it will burn this because the fiber is only delivery in single direction. If there are more laser power came into the fiber, it cannot hold the heat, then it will burn. And sometimes it's not only burn this head or the crystal, sometimes it will burn the optical parts inside. Like, uh, so, so you need to check if you have the red beam. If you don't have the red beam, maybe there are some parts inside has burned this is you need to check if it's only the problem for this uh the, it's only burned this part then you can change the head or you can change the cable if it has something internal parts broken you need a uh, more uh anyway we can quote you all the parts inside if you have the tools you can still repair it in uh, at site so that's all for today. Thank you for watching.